with no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing to keep the Grinch away from the toy drive. Who's going to deliver the toys to the kids? What about me, the Grinch? No. Yep, even easier than that. You steal the presents one time. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Capital One NA member FDIC. Copyright Dr. Seuss Enterprises. Copyright Turner Entertainment Company. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The pretty lies and alibis. Join us as we seek the truth and travel the long road to justice. Hi, everybody. It's Gigi flying solo. It's kind of late, almost 11 o'clock, but wanted to get this out tonight. Huge news in the Alec Murdoch case. Today, Fitz News broke a major, probably the biggest story of this case so far, that state police have told Alec's family they plan to bring charges against him in the murders of his wife, Maggie, and his son, Paul, from last June. It's been 13 months since the double murder. Uh, Paul was killed with a shotgun. Maggie was killed with an assault rifle. And, you know, one thing we always thought was really odd about this case is the day after when they gave the press conference, they never said that the community was in danger or to be on the lookout for any kind of a suspect. That's always been really telling. And way back when Fitz News also said that Alec was a suspect or a person of interest. So SLED plans to give Ev- SLED, which is South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, by the way, we call it SLED here in South Carolina. They plan to give evidence to the grand jury this week on Thursday. No other suspect, uh, as far as we know, has been named. And it should be noted that Maggie left her property to Alec before she was murdered. I believe that was back in 2005 when that was signed. So way back when. And Murdaugh has told law enforcement that he left the property earlier that evening, came home and found Maggie and Paul shot dead just right near their dog kennel. So John Marvin Murdaugh, which is Alex's brother, told the Post and Courier that SLED did meet with members of the family this morning as a courtesy. And he uh, also said that Maggie's family was present at that meeting as well. And so the family was notified of the charges under the South Carolina crime victims constitutional rights. And then John Marvin then told ABC four, they were not told what specific charges he would face. He said the meeting was around 30 minutes and they did not give any kind of indication of what evidence they had against Alec. But again, Fitz news reported a couple of months ago that there was high impact velocity spatter found on Alex's clothes from the night of the murder, which means you would have to be in close proximity to someone being shot or bludgeoned, I believe. Um, So Alex's attorney, Jim Griffin, told CNN, I'm aware that SLED advised the family that they intend to seek murder indictments from a grand jury later this week. We won't have any comment until charges are actually brought against Alex. We don't know if the indictment will come from the state grand jury or the Colleton County grand jury, but typically these kind of indictments for murder are handed down from the county where the murder actually happened. It'll be very interesting to see uh, who gets that. And his attorney also said that once the indictments are handed down, they will ask for a bond hearing to have facts on the record. So here's the interesting thing. In South Carolina, this could qualify Alec for the death penalty. Um, South Carolina law says under SC criminal law, the murder of two or more persons pursuant to one scheme or course of conduct is an aggravating circumstance that would qualify a defendant for a death penalty case. And so far, Alec's been, we know he's been charged with uh, with stealing about $8.5 million from colleagues and clients. And honestly, I wouldn't doubt if in the future we don't see murder charges for Gloria Satterfield and Stephen Smith. Uh, Both of those cases were just cold cases. Essentially, Gloria's was deemed a natural death and Stephen's 
we've been through this on previous episodes. There were so many inconsistencies between the autopsies and what officers saw on scene. Just really hope this is the beginning of justice for all of these people. Also, just, you know, the cherry on top today, Alec was stripped of his law license officially. He's facing 81 charges unrelated to the killings, and he is in the Richland County Jail on a $7 million bond. So just huge, huge news. Fitz News put it out first. Everybody else picked up on it. And man, it's going to be a very interesting end of the week, no doubt. And just another little quick update. This one's got me scratching my head a bit. Casey White, you know, the inmate who went on the run for 11 days with corrections officer Vicki White. Uh, he's been charged with felony murder in her suicide death, which happened on May 9th. And she's believed to have shot herself in the head at the very end of the pursuit with police that they had. And the filing says, and in the course and furtherance of committing escape in the first degree, caused the death of Vicki White, who died from a gunshot wound to the head. And some of the audio, I believe it was like body cam audio. It said she's got a gun in her hand and she's breathing. She's got her finger on the trigger. In the car, they found they had $29,000 in cash, four handguns, and an AR-15 rifle. And I'm not sure how honestly I feel about these charges. I mean, look, he's a very violent criminal. And she facilitated the escape. I'm not trying to dirty up the victim, somebody who's, you know, or somebody who's dead. But I guess it's one of those deals where, like, if you're riding with your friend to do a robbery and you don't know they have a gun, somebody gets shot and killed, you get the charge. I just don't understand how they're charging him with that because it was self-inflicted. And you have officers on camera saying she has the gun. In her hand, not only that, her fingers on the trigger. So I just think it's very interesting, will be interesting to watch. So we will keep an eye on both of these stories, particularly the Murdoch case. It is local for us. We know people personally that know the family, that knew Maggie. And um, just this whole Southern dynasty came tumbling down big time. So anyways, just wanted to update this tonight for you guys real quick. Hope you have a good rest of your evening. We'll be back tomorrow with another full episode, diving right back into the Lori Vallow, Chad Daybell mega series we're doing. And uh, sleep tight, guys. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandslots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. When picking a commerce platform, you have two choices. Oh, you piece of or yeah that's the sound of selling on shopify the commerce platform that supercharges your selling online and in person why battle inferior platforms weak tools you and limited integrations would have helped to know this join the millions of businesses growing on shopify and ignite your selling less more start your free trial today at shopify.com slash profits 23 shopify.com slash profits 23